I just got wind that this is National Prayer Day. I'm not really sure, but I just want to pray for... I'm in a praying mood anyway. Um, I pray every day. So, pray with me. Um, let us pray. And I'm going to go on to the next video. As you hear the crowd behind me, spiritual warfare. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day, a uh, day which we haven't seen. We thank you for the um, our eyes, our, our feet, our hands. We thank you for the activity of, of our limbs. We thank you for the blood that's running warm in our veins. We thank you for guiding us. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for delivering us from evil. Oh Lord, we thank you for protecting our children. We thank you, oh Lord, for protecting us on dangers seen and unseen. We thank you, O oh Lord, for being that strong tower and the righteous run into it and we are saved. O oh Lord, we ask that you bless those that are mourning, those that have lost loved ones. We ask, O oh Lord, that you bless them with the comforting of the Holy Spirit. Those that have lost loved ones on this COVID-19 pandemic. Oh Lord, we know that there's other different types of diseases that are going amongst us. It's not just that one little virus. There's other types of viruses. Oh Lord, we pray that you send your angels around all that are living and are well. Protect them each and every day. Protect those that are with me on this broadcast today. Cover them under the precious blood of Jesus. Hide them behind the cross. Oh Lord, we ask that those that do not believe in you, those that don't may not know how to pray, those that may be hearing me pray for the first time, we ask, O oh Lord, that you open up their eyes so that may, they may be able to understand or they may get to know you a little bit better. Well, Lord, we pray for those that don't know how to pray. Teach them how to talk to you. O oh Lord, we thank you for direction. Thank you for directing our minds to be stayed on you for you give us perfect peace. In a world that is full of turmoil, in a world that is full of despair, hate, and anger, I am still able to go and pray to you and ask you to take care of my enemies. I'm able to watch my enemies fall and become my footstool. You even set a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And for that, I give you all of the glory, all of the honor, and all of the praise. I do not, by any way, shape, and form, uh, boast in vengeance, because I know that vengeance is yours. Thus saith the Lord. But what I do do in this day is I have the victory. So I do marvel to the fact that the victory is mine, that the defeated may be defeated, but on this day, the victory is mine. I am a victorious person because I walk by faith in you and not by sight of what this world has to offer. I walk victorious in you, knowing that you can do exceedingly and abundantly according to all that I may ask or think. I walk in victorious way, knowing that ask and ye shall receive, seek and ye shall find, knock and the door shall be open unto you. 
I walk knowing that all power is still in your hands. And all I have to do is pray and ask you to take care of that situation. And if I have the faith the size of a mustard seed, I know that that situation will be taken care of the way you see fit. So, oh Lord, why should I worry? I'm not going to worry and I'm not going to fret. I look at all of the ways and at all of the promises that you have kept. I will continue to look to the hills for what for that's where my help comes. I'm looking up. I'm keeping my head up. Because I know where my help comes from. My help comes from you. The maker who made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that lives within. You know how many blades of grass is on the earth. You know how many hairs of, uh, of hair is on my head. You know everything that's going on. You know how to control all narratives. So we are praying for your hand of abundance, your hand of healing, your hand of wealth, your hand of joy to be placed on this world. Oh Lord, shift right now the things that are going on. We ask you to shift the African com American community into a new direction in which you will like us to go to. We pray, oh Lord, that you give us direction. Give us the things to say and how to say it. Give the African American community a way to walk, a way to talk, a way to stand upright and to be of you. We ask that you continuously bless us. Open up those eyes that need to be open and take out the weeds that are growing in the garden. Take down the things that are sucking up all of the beautiful flowers and the fruits that you have for us. We ask, O oh Lord, that you bring out the harvest and make it new. We ask, O oh Lord, that you you, 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 you look at us and say, well done, good and faithful servant to those that are working. You've been faithful over a few things and you will make us and you, you'll have us to make us ruler over plenty of things. We ask, oh, Lord, that you just continuously give us the heart to work and do the works of you, oh, Lord, for we will continue to work while it is yet day for the night cometh when no man can work. We're asking, oh, Lord, that. Um, that we just continue to keep our minds abiding in you, oh God. So, to you, oh Lord, we commit our spirit right now. We don't have any distractions. We don't have the world to distract us. We can give our lives to you right now. Hallelujah. We could give our mind to you right now on this day. We could give our soul to you right now and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you for the things that you've done for me. And thank you for the things that you're going to do. I put my full trust in you. We don't trust in the world. We don't trust in any uh, uh, worldly desires at this day or the next. But we put our trust in you knowing that you are going to bring us to a new height, higher height. No, every day we understand may not be a sunny day. But we know if we can just keep the faith, fight the good fight, finish the course, a righteous crown will be given to us. Oh Lord, we're not discouraged. And I'm going to shout right now knowing that I have the victory the second I walk out these doors, knowing that new opportunities are going to develop. New avenues are going to happen on this day in Jesus name. In Yahweh's name, I say these prayers. Thank you, Lord. Yahuwah's name. Amen.